Hello and welcome to day 31 of the NA10 series. For the last couple of days, we have seen a lot of internal nodes available in NA10. And today, we are going to see few more options available in NA10. One of it is text classifier. And the second one is global variables. We will also see how do we create an AI agent that can create scores based the resumes that are coming in. This will help for business owners or HR professionals who are into hiring. So let's quickly check how this bot can be easily built in less than 15 minutes. So firstly, let's assume that we are getting the uh, email on Gmail along with resume attach. Okay, and for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Gmail trigger on message received. Uh, I've already connected the account. We have seen how do we connect Gmail account in the first week itself. Uh, poll times every minute. I'll just leave it as is. Uh, you can make it as every hour or every day basis how many emails you get uh, for job tool um, so message received let me click on fetch test so we have just got one email that i just sent uh, that is hi madam here is my resume to the job tool please let me know if you need more details so it was just a very simple email that i had sent to this particular account uh, just for testing this particular automation now once this is the trigger so every time there is a new email that comes in within a minute this gets triggered now the next node that we need is uh gmail but uh, this time it's get a message uh, we'll use the same account and we need to give the message id which is there right at the top over here right uh we don't want a simplified version because we want to download the attachment and uh, this is what we need. So click on execute step so that we will get the download. One of the things that we have to do over here is add a filter and in search we can mention has attachment because otherwise every email that comes in will be uh, going through this view. So let's just use this one. So that only emails which has attachment will come through and we will download that attachment over here. Okay, so we get the attachment uh, as a binary file. Now we have to ensure that this is an email that has come in for job role, right? Because sometimes we might not have a specific email address meant only for job rules, right? And to get that, what we will do is we will uh, go with text classifier, which is an internal node available from NA10. So we can put the text to classify over here. And for that, we need to run this particular node once. We made some change. So I'll run this as well. Okay. Now let's go here and we need to get the subject. And for that, let me just search for subject and here resume for the job role, right? So I'll just drag it and drop it over here because generally if uh, somebody is applying for a job, then their subject will uh, mention about the job. So let's go with that assumption and we can create category uh, related to job. Okay. If the subject uh is related to any job role. and we can create one more category something else and if the subject is not related any job roles okay so let's execute the step and this will not run because we have to connect the model and uh, like we have been doing we can use open ai chat model let's use the same account not two it's three and gpt 4.1 mini should be Good enough let's run this now and uh, you can see related to job we have one item something we don't have anything so here we can just uh, close it do nothing right no operations do nothing just execute and keep it there 
we have one item here which we can further connect firstly let's extract from file okay so we have extract from pdf uh so this is not data this is attachment underscore zero right so let's click on execute step so what this does is it will extract the information from this attachment uh, so we've got all the information over here okay now once we get this we want to send this to ai agent which can understand what the file has and it can score the resume from 0 to 100 basis the job role and the description now let's quickly check global variables which will store the job role and the job description that we're looking for um we could also store those information into Google Sheets and fetch the information from Google Sheets or any other platform. But because we have not covered it and Google Sheets integration on any time requires some setup on Google Cloud Console, we will do a simple thing right now. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate here because we have to go to variables and I do not want to disturb uh, these things. So I'll go to variables. We're going to add a variable here, which will be job role description and this is going to be the link of a google doc right so um, we had already showed in one of the videos what it needs to be uh, when we want to download the content from a google uh, doc just that the id needs to change and this id is going to be the job role description that i have in google doc which has all the details so i'm just going to get this id from here which is after d slash until slash edit so i'll just change this one right and i'll click on save we have got this variable here uh let me go back to uh this flow and because we want to get that detail which is basically uh the job description we have to use the logic which we have already seen that is http get this should be up oh, not this one it should be oh yeah the url is coming from the variables right we could use these variables across all the workflows that we have okay now we have got the details from this particular file the next one that we have to do is uh create a field in this particular field we are going to add um the job details and uh, let's open it up so that we can put the details so we've added like title and what is the job description and all of this of course there is this additional lines that's fine we'll ignore that okay so we have these details uh, added over here just click on execute step and we have this one coming out now we need to uh, use ai agent Okay, and this is not connected chat to the node, it is defined below. We have to define below what needs to be done. And what we're going to do is add this in detail. Let's quickly check what is this. Here is the resume. Extract from file item json.txt, which is from here. Analyze the current uh, information from the received candidate and score between zero to, let's say, 100. Uh, score between 0 to 100 the set candidate zero meaning not a good fit for the position and 100 being outstanding for the job and job description and job title let's quickly add that over here okay that's like job description job title and description are as follows Right, and job details we're coming here. Now, we are also mentioning reply by email. Send a reply to the candidate to confirm that we have received their application and that we will get back to them as soon as possible. Right, so we have done that part of it. Uh, now we have to use the chat model. And like we have been using, let's use OpenAI chat model. We'll use the same account and uh we'll use uh, 4.1 mini that's fine now in the tool section let's uh, include gmail because we want it to respond back 
So we'll use the same account and uh, this two will be coming from. So I'll just drag it and drop it here. Subject, uh, subject can be job application received and the message we can just click on this let the model define this parameter right so the model will actually define what needs to be added as a message okay email type can be html we'll leave that and uh, so once this is done uh, we have to add the structured output parser and for that we have to firstly enable this and here we need to give structured output parser right uh, and this one should be defined using JSON schema. Okay, so uh, we'll just do this. So let's run this to check what is the output that we're getting. So you can see that it shows some output. Let's quickly have it, have a look at it. The candidate Charles uh, McTerland has been sent a confirmation email regarding the receipts of their application for the senior uh, backend engineer, Python plus cloud position regarding the candidates fit uh, for the job based on the resume and job description. The candidate has over 10 years of uh, professional experience exceeding the five years requirement. Strong Python pro proficiency with uh, Django framework experience matching the back and framework requirements experience working with both and so on and so forth. So it has given some output. OK, um, so let's structure this because if we have to take a decision we want it to be structured and for that what we are going to do is we will enable this require specific output format okay and uh, there will be one more option that will open up and here we're going to use structured output parser okay and um, we will use define using json schema right and I have already got the schema from uh, ChatGPT where I've asked, OK, this is what I'm looking for from the candidate and uh, I want a JSON schema, right? So I will get this particular schema from you and I'll replace it over here, right? Now let's quickly check if this works out. I'm running this. We may get an error. Let's click on save. Stop this workflow and run it again just to see if okay it runs so if we go here you can see that the output is structured right uh, score is 90 decision strong fit uh, summary it has given us some summary about the candidate uh, what are the matches from his profile uh, what are the gaps if any right and uh, what could be the email application received senior backend engineer position Dear Charles, thank you for applying for the senior uh, position with our team. We have received your application and are currently reviewing it. We will get back to you as soon as possible with the next steps. Okay, so you can see uh, the structured output so that now you can take the decision, right? Now, sometimes the JSON that you give here might not work. And if it does not work, just click on auto fix format and when you do that it will ask you for the model you can just go ahead and give openai chat model okay uh, since it has worked for us i'll just disable this and we don't need to proceed further now one last thing is to use variables now let me go to variables which is available over here i've opened it in a new tab okay uh, this is available only in the pro plan and above, not available in the starter plan. Let me just go to create variable and say email to and the value can be whatever you want, which can be used across the uh, across multiple workflows. Uh, just click on save and you get this particular value. Uh, dollar vars dot email to let's come back here and let's send an email to uh, the email stored in the variable. Now I'm just showing you uh, this particular step just to show you how uh, the variables can be used. Right, send a message and we'll use the same account. So two, we want to use the variables and for that let's go to expression and 
just open curly braces and you will be able to see this vars over here uh, you can see all the variables coming here click on dot and then you get this particular variable right once you have that just go to subject maybe new can be date uh report email type could be text and the message can be the entire output click on execute step so that's because we have added the entire json and it does not want to take json so let's quickly fix uh, this one hello there um, we have a new candidate report and here are the details right so the lean is getting that from here somewhere uh, we can also get that from did we explore the name after the name directly show this name let's go here and search for it and we see it here just that's coming from the email client and then we can say it, the subject start on subject get that one over here then um, score score we have it over here up let's say score then and this can be summary and to cut the summary so i'll just leave at this but you can add whatever you need because right so that's the expression that we can have and um we could also have the attachment uh, which can go to the person if required but anyways let's click on execute step and they should go out there you go so this is how we can use a variable from uh, an item and that's the entire flow for you. So that's how you build a resume scorer bot, which can analyze the resume and compare it with the job title and description, basis which it can give you a score and why do you need to consider a particular candidate and why not. So I hope this was helpful. And if so, please share it with all your HR friends or business owners so that they can make their hiring process much, much simpler. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.